Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be opening and um, make a brief review of Lee 101Z, uh, salvage denim. So let's do it quick. Uh, so I had this pair about four years ago and I loved it, so I ordered another one, but this is slightly different denim. Uh, we, um, you know, going to get to the probably to the measurements and everything. So this is the kind of a, okay, here's a, there's a return address. Normally you get free return whenever you, it, so the price for this one would be 200 bucks on um, Lee website. And normally it's, uh, they include like a free return, which is nice, but the package is really cheap. You know, just a plastic bag, sort of like a Levi does. Not even double bag, but you know, that's okay. So used to come in nice boxes, so I, you know, times change. Uh, okay, so uh, this is interesting because this is actually, I got it in dry, and, um, and what it looks like, it's not exactly what I expected, it's actually kind of like very light. So they were running a 1970 model called, uh, by Kuraba uh, Japan, you know, the denim called Swedish Blue. It looks like almost the same page. Uh, okay, so 13 ounces. Um, so, but let's dive into it. It's funny, it says, uh, be aware of blah, blah, blah. Dry clean to keep appearance as original. I, uh, I never dry clean. They're probably talking about this leather badge. So, which is kind of nice and thick and you can run the belt through. The details is pretty nice, uh, like, X stitches, there's no rivets like Levi's does. Um, let's see, um, nice copper button. And uh, as uh, most of Lee's, there's no button closure, it's all zip fly, which is kind of nice, I like that. So the nice, like a brass zipper by Lee. Um, let's see, inside. Okay, lot number 49, um, you know, Japanese salvage denim, 13 and a three quarters, it's 13.75. It's pretty nice and heavy. Um, it's at the color kind of a questionable, I don't know. So I, they have a two options, dry and dark dry. And I should have ordered in dark dry. I'm not so sure. I might keep it and it kind of looks Kind of looks cool, but a little too bluish for me in my days. I know it's a hard to see on, a, you know, on a YouTube video, but believe me, this is almost like the ones I had in the late 70s. It's um, the Swedish blue by Kuraba Mill, and it could be by Kuraba Mill. Let's see. It doesn't normally say on this label, but let's see. They you know, cuff it up. Yeah, it's just a, you know, there is no idea. This is just white white edge, white selvage. Uh, nice chain stitch, pretty beautifully done. I like double stitch on inseam. You know, Levi has single, so this is a nice touch. Overall, it's just great, beautiful quality. And um, let's see, um, so the size. I ordered 33, 32. I've done several leases and I always get in 33. Levi's size normally I get 501s, so it's 34. Because Lee kind of they run slightly larger. Um, so let's see also. Beautiful flat copper rivets. I like it because nothing's scratching. Mm, there is no self edge here, just a double stitch on the coin pocket. Um, let's see where they made. Normally there's a small label they include. So, I cannot find it. I think they made in Italy. The last badges that they done, they made in Italy. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. so. And also what I like about this, the, the Lee pockets. Z actually, they, they, I like it, they're a little bigger than uh, Rider, like one of our Rider. And what I like about Lee pockets is, is like this lining inside. 
where this lazy, lazy S letter. So this is kind of double lining here. If you like dropped a, you know, you know, money or wallet or key, so it would not go down even if you have the holes here. So okay, let's uh, let's do the measurements. Yeah, here I found this little label. Okay, okay, 33, 32. So it's made in Italy. So this is interesting because the last um, several, it looks like whole batch, uh, several years, they, you know, not several years, like us probably like a year. I've got probably four, you know, different pairs and they were made in Italy. Before my previous uh, 101Z was made in Czech Republic, in Czechia. Uh, okay, let's dive into measurements real quick. Do the waist, line it up. Okay, mm, 18, pretty nice. So this is the TTS again. This is sunfarized denim, and this is TTS. Uh, you know, I think you can safely like wear it without the first several weeks without even soaking. It's not like STF shrink to fit, uh, and actually it will slightly stretch. Um, and you should be aware that you know it, it will. Don't worry about if it shrunk a little bit after soaking. You always would be able to stretch them back if you put them on for just in a few hours. Okay, so 18 across, which is perfect. In you see in Levi 501, it would be like 34. So let's do front rise. 11 and a half, which is nice, perfect too, because you know, 501 LVC, pretty much the same, right on. Uh, the thigh, 12 and a quarter, perfect. I mean, so far it's a great, and actually they close to, um, you know, Levi LVC, so this is across the knee. It would be nine, and uh, at the bottom hem, And the bottom hem would be seven, and it's actually eight. So, wow, this is pretty much like, right on. This is pretty much like Levi 501s I have. Uh, I, I, I must say, this is just a beautiful, the craftsmanship is just beautiful. I mean, packaging, it's, I kind of, it's a little on cheap side. I kind of like, um, you know, disappointed a little bit. But as far as the quality is right there, this is beautiful denim. I mean, I'm not so sure about the, color and look at this a beautiful chain stitching. Let's do in seam check. Let's see. Okay. 32 and a half. Huh. Interesting. So this is actually half inches longer, which is fine because I'm like 29, 29 and a half. I could cuff it up. They would shrink a little bit because this is TTS denim, um, which is sunrise denim. They, they don't shrink a lot normally like lengthwise and you know like I said if you wear like 30 32 that would be perfect you don't need to go because the um, you know the other jeans they shrunk like for example LVC you have to give like extra like couple of inches but overall I love love the quality is there you know nice X stitches here there's no rivets on the back as usual and I just love this badge. It's just such a beautiful thick leather badge um, compared to like, cheap, compared to cheap like Levi. Look at this, how thin it is. Um, so, and, and this is like $300 jeans. So this is a 200 bucks, which I think worth it because you can wear those for a long time, 20, 25 years, um, absolutely worth it. So I think I would, I mean, to me, it's a lot more value than, you know, Levi's LVCs. Um, you know, 47, 54, this, this is just beautiful. I, I'm, you know, very curious. I'm going to put them on and I'm going to either to post at the end of this video or post separate short video, but I put them on because it, it looks, again, I want to say that 101Z, this is actually, they claim it's a relaxed, it's actually not relaxed, it's a straight, regular straight fit, and this is more close to originally rider.